a new push for science in the classroom. It allows students to question their environment in order to discover new things and develop their critical thinking skills. CBS2 has been looking for the best student scientists in the tri-state, and our latest Sunday Morning Science Lab winner is Tristan Basundil, a fifth grader at Shore Road School in Belmore. Congratulations, Tristan. Thank you. Now, okay, you started this uh, experiment, which we're going to describe in a second, because you have severe allergies to food. Yes. Okay. And, and I keep seeing titanium dioxide in it. Because you're always reading the labels yeah. for uh, food products, and so you kept seeing titanium dioxide in the ingredients. And I wanted to know what it was. And what is it? It's a chemical naturally found in the Earth's crust. Okay. So let's talk about what kind of products we can find titanium dioxide in. You can find titanium dioxide in sunscreens, gum, uh, toothpaste, pudding, makeup, and uh, candies, and icings. All sorts of things. So yeah. it's really used for kind of whitening, coloring, and that sort of thing. Mm -hmm. And it's actually safe in these products. Yeah. Okay. But you wanted to find out how it would fare in the soil, right? Yeah. Okay. So it's because let's say you miss, like, let's say you put it into soil by accident, mm. and like you, like, let's say you were putting sunscreen on someone, but then when you put it on, it just missed. Right. Right. And then it goes into the soil. Okay. All right. Well, let's first of all, titanium dioxide. You you ground it up into different sizes, yes. right? So this is called what? This Milli size. size titanium dioxide. And that is the largest size. Yes. Okay. So that's here, and then the the nano size, the little one, is the one, smallest. Is this, and that's like a powder. It's really yeah. really fine. Okay. So let's talk about this radish plant experiment. Yeah. Um, I this was like. You can see um, the radical, which is the root, and the hypocal, which is the stem. Mm -hmm. They didn't grow as well for the nano size, okay. and there's not much chlorophyll in the leaves. But compare it to the milli size. Right. Look so, how much greener. Yep. And much longer. So what you did was you you used the small, the nano size of yeah. titanium dioxide with this one mm -hmm. to grow this one, and then you use the larger size for this one. Uh huh. And so what does it tell you? It's telling me that that one's like. This one's not as good for the plant. Right. And that one um, is still pretty bad, but it's not as bad as nano size titanium dioxide. Wow. So your experiment worked. You got your answers right. Mm -hmm. And you can also see it here. Uh huh. From the see, you see that it's um this one's greener than um this one. Mm hmm. And that's yeah. because of the chlorophyll. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Wrong. That's okay. You're a scientist. It doesn't matter. All right. So, what was your reaction when you heard you won the uh, the contest? I was like, wait a minute, what? <laughs> <laughs> and what do you want to do when you get older? I want to be a scientist mm -hmm. because it's fun mm -hmm. and you get to learn new things every day. All right. Well, let's check out this big old check that you earned. Oh my goodness, five hundred dollars, Tristan, for you. What are you gonna do with this? Uh. I don't know yet. <laughs> really? Oh, good. Why don't you put it in the bank? How about that? Yeah. Sound good? Yeah. All right. And then your school is actually going to get $2,000. Yeah. And uh, what do you think the school should use it for? I think they should. the school should use the money for, like, better science programs or maybe sci more science fairs mm -hmm. or, or, like, other science things to do with it. Well, those are some great ideas. Tristan, thank you so much for being here. It's such a pleasure. You're only 11 years old. Yeah. And you said a lot of words in there that I didn't even understand. <laughs> so <laughs> thank you for being here. Congratulations. Yeah, if you would like to check out all our Sunday Morning Science Lab winners, just go to cbsnewyork.com slash Sunday Morning Science Lab.